Emerson, and today I want to talk to you about our all-new rotary control disc valve. When customers have a need for control, the typical choice of valves are sliding stem type valves or rotary ball valves. When butterfly valves are used, they have a limited control range. And many times when process conditions change and the set point is changed in the customer's plant, the valve will become sluggish or would have to be put into manual mode. Today I want to talk about an all new rotary control disc valve with a more smaller compact actuator, a clamp spline shaft, and an all new design valve and disc assembly. Let's take a look at this actuator right now. First we have here our all new Fisher 2052 actuator with its nested springs and compact design. We also have our clamp spline shaft that will offer tighter control. And then we have over here our all new valve and disc design with a unique profile. And here we have the, the disc itself that offers a wider control range. As we look at this chart here, we see that a typical butterfly valve on standard disc would typically control between 30 and 50 degrees of travel. That's where we talk about limited control range. With a brand new characterized disc in our control disc valve, we now expand the control range from 15 to 70 degrees of travel. That travel then controls almost that of a V-ball today. So I'm excited to talk about this brand new valve and how it has benefit for you as our customer, a lower compact design, tighter control, and expanded control range. If you'd like more information about our all-new rotary control disc valve, I'd like you to contact our local sales office or our local business partner. Thanks.